<laughs> okay, we're going to open the meeting at 9 a.m. And uh, we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, they moved it. Okay. Well, that's good. Shake it up a little. Yeah, yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I'm going to start by reading the rules for a public forum. Our public forums are limited to five minutes per topic, discussions or comments about town employees, agency members or volunteers should be avoided so as not to violate individuals' rights. There is no one present. Um, so we'll just go right into the minutes from last month's meeting of September 17th. One question. Yes. Um, wasn't it um, approval of August and May? Yes, it was. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want to ask on the minutes? We have a motion to accept. Second. All in favor? None. Aye. Opposed? None. Okay, we'll go on to Michelle with her report. Right. I'd like to thank uh, our staff for doing a great job uh, cleaning the dining room and kitchen, the windows and the floors, getting things down there all nice and cleaned up. As well, um, we had our carpets cleaned, uh, which has been fantastic. So thank you to all those folks for helping out that day. Uh, the chairs were all sanitized outside, um, so hopefully that'll give us a good start on the bug season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank Planning Board Director Jen Hager for holding an affordable housing informational. Um, and any questions or concerns, uh, Jen is more than happy to answer. Um, Jen is also considering coming down once a month uh, to hold like an office hour if anybody has any questions or concerns or talk about town planning. Um, so, you know, we're putting that into motion for her to come down because it seems like people have a lot of other questions other than just housing and then it kind of snowballs from there. Is so that one on one or is that group session? That would be one on one. Um, so uh, this is grant season, so October through December. Uh, there are many grants that I'm going to be applying for. Uh, exercise is one of them. Um, we are looking for I want to say some backup help for if an instructor can't make it. Um, because if I don't use my grant money, I lose my grant money. Hmm. So if somebody, you know, calls out, then, you know, I, several times, you know, I can't, I can't get that money back. Or, you know, m the next season I have to prove that I used it or I didn't use it. So. Uh, concerning that, um, if an instructor can't make it. Mm -hmm. um, maybe if you spoke with this instructor and asked this person, maybe they could uh, realize that, that you could lose the grant for yes. the whole class. Yeah. And also that um, maybe they could line somebody up. Yes, I think that you know, um, they've tried, you know, different ones. It does from to time to time, <laughs> someone is line lined up. up. It might so. be impossible sometimes yeah. but perhaps if this instructor yes. realized that the grant could be lost yes um, yeah. more of an effort would be made to line somebody up yes. even if they're not even if it's just one of their students yep. or something yep. you know it would just be a big help absolutely so you know anybody that's you know interested it wouldn't be as the instructor it would be just to be there in case the instructor right, can't be right. there so to um, conduct the class yeah. yes so let's 
What do you have in mind for grants? Um, this would be for exercise. Um, I have a, different, a bunch of different ones for handicap accessibility, um, in which I've got a couple of things in mind as far as the senior center goes. The more I learn about handicapped folks trying to get in and out of places, I realized, uh, even with my own mother, our, our toilets, even though they are higher, they are not high enough. <laughs> They are not high enough, and they do make them higher. You know what, those, in fact, I have it in one of my toilets at home, Agatha, those things that that have uh, handles right yes. on the thing. Yes, yes. And you can get them that hitch right to the toilet. Yes. And I'll tell you, they're very, very nice, and I think that would be very yeah. handy for that. Anybody, really. So I'm applying mm -hmm. for a grant for uh, that kind of stuff, for I both the men's and women's good. bathroom, so it's... It's just a little too much. Um, That's a very important yeah, thing. Yeah, it really to, is. Uh, because being a senior center, right. uh, yeah. it's utilized by younger yeah. people too, but uh, and some people have a temporary handicap, yes. you know, yeah. and they still want to be able to come yeah. and use yeah. the facilities just make it as best. easier for them. And True. Well, you know. That's very good because you've got your handle. Yeah. I know. I'm hitched. familiar yeah. with like that. Say, yes. You can buy them hitched right to right. the toilet. So they're yes. solid. Yes, you know? that's wonderful, really. That would be good. It is. Yeah. It's just, you know, the more you deal with it, the more you become really sensitive to it. You so, uh, if anybody else has any more handicap uh, suggestions, uh, whether it's for even the senior center or even another town facility, I'd like you to come and talk to me about that. You know, if you're having a hard time getting into another town building, um, mm -hmm. if you could just come down and Give me a little heads up, you know, give me some advice on that. I'm more than happy to um, see what I can do on that end as well mm -hmm. um, because it is a, a, Good a idea. senior grant. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's important that we're able to get in and out of our things that we have here in town. So um, that's what uh, – that's just two of, the, two of the big ones. Really the exercise is uh, important, and anything handicap accessible at this point is <laughs> – so – um, we are getting ready for uh, the food pantry for the holidays. Um, very, very busy time between mm, the beginning of November right on through to the beginning of January between the food pantry and Chain of Lights. Senior Center gets very busy. Um, Thanksgiving baskets will start uh, being in progress, so you'll see bags, you know, around getting bagged up and ready. Um, the food uh, pantry use uh, from families has been down a, a little bit. Um, however, we have signed up three new families um, in the past uh, couple weeks. And I suspect, as usual, the usage will go up as the winter gets closer. Because as people are turning on their heat, uh, or the holidays are coming, every year traditionally it goes up. Mm -hmm. um, so I do suspect that the numbers will go up. Um, I'm going to give you numbers and, and whatnot for the food pantry at some other time because this is really about the senior center. You know, the Council on Aging is about the senior center. I just want to make you aware that the food pantry and stuff is going to be very busy in the next couple of months. You know, that's an important thing. I think some people feel because the food pantry is located mm -hmm. in the senior center, it's like the senior center is like totally in charge of it. It's really not. I, I believe you tend to, you oversee it, mm -hmm. but uh, it's the town's it's, yes. facility, yeah. really. It's yeah. just housed at yes. the senior yeah. center. They are, they are just housed there. So, and and honestly, it's it's all seniors that volunteer in that food pantry. So, right. I, you know, it um, serves a great purpose for not it only does. families in need, uh, but also seniors wanting to give back and um, almost like a sense of purpose or, you know, so it makes right. them feel good. And I certainly good. appreciate all the seniors that do volunteer their time there. Uh, so that's mm -hmm. pretty much what I have if you want to discuss uh, the November calendar. Yes. Uh, I will remind you that when I give you this November calendar, everything is, we kind of discuss it and go over it. doesn't mean everything is written in stone here. Because um, it's, it's only the 15th now, and I still have a couple more weeks where somebody could 
uh, come in and add something last minute. I'm still waiting for a couple of things to hear back uh, from. So things things do change around a little they bit. They do. In there. Um, one exciting program I want to talk to you about is one that I potentially might add to the grant. I'm not certain yet. We're going to see how it goes. Um, but Gloria, our uh, yoga instructor and uh, muscular strength instructor and mat yoga and Zumba instructor, uh, was telling me about a class that she does called Chair Zumba. Because a lot of folks would like to do Zumba, but it might be a little bit too fast on their feet or maybe not so coordinated. So Gloria teaches a chair Zumba class, and she said it is and can be as equally difficult without all of the balance stuff and the rhythm stuff that you would need in regular Zumba. So we're going to give that a try for folks who want something a little bit more active but can't necessarily do Zumba. So I'm going to throw that out there and see what we can, uh, what we can do. And that's going to be Wednesday... Uh, November 6th. Now I know there's chair Zumba. This is when Gloria chose it because that's the time that she has available. And then she said she will follow up at 10 o'clock with muscular strength. So she'll be here for the two hours. So certainly pass the word around about that chair Zumba. It's only going to be one Zumba's day. 45 minutes. Yes. Yep. People she, ought to know that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks for reminding us. Um, chair Zumba, and then you can stay for muscular strength if you'd like. Um, both are in the chair. She's a great instructor, so uh, feel free to do uh, pass that word around. It's only going to be one time because we're going to see what kind of interest we have. If there's really not a lot of interest, we're not going to go with it because, again, I would have to put it in the grant, and I don't want to put something in there that I'm not going to use. Um, Sutton Fire will be down at 11 o'clock to discuss fire safety. They're going to bring a bunch of equipment that they have. You can look around in the, in the fire trucks afterwards. If the, you know, if the weather is nice, um, they're going to show you how to put out fires. It's, uh, it's going to be a nice little program. So again, Sutton Fire will be down on Wednesday, November 6th. On Thursday, uh, November 7th at 10.30, Sean Lorden, who is, who is the physical therapist over at um, Concierge Physical Therapy on 146. He's going to be doing a healthy habits class. Um, and he, he'll do a fantastic job with this, especially maybe more geared for the men um, because he has been teaching men stretching and doing stuff with the men. So I'm not saying that's all about men, but I'm saying it's probably a little bit more geared towards them. As, as the women there, we have plenty of things that we do, not so much for the men. So um, he's going to do a healthy habits class. He also does a men's stretching class. Uh, he was available to do it at 1 o'clock certain days, twice a month. However, I guess the 1 o'clock didn't work so well with other folks in there. Um, and he's trying to find a way to work it in his schedule where he could go back to the usual time that he was doing it, which I think was 1030. Um, but it, it, he's having difficulty finding that in his schedule. So he, he will make the time f to bring that back. I haven't heard anything as of yet. So uh, just keep that in the back of your mind that men's stretch will be on here. I just don't know when and what time um, as of yet. So. On the 11th, we'll be closed for Veterans Day. Um, a reminder that every Tuesday from 10 to noon, every Tuesday, the Fraud Squad is there. And she is there to discuss any fraud issues that you may be having. Um, and she's a wealth of information. If you have phone numbers that are calling you constantly, if you have mail that's coming in, we've had this discussion over and over and over again. You need to come and see her so that we can log this stuff, we can get it uh, out there, um, and she's available one-on-one -on -one so you don't have to present everything in front of people. Um, again, that's on Tuesdays from 10 to noon. Um, go, 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 go. Uh, book club, they meet on the 20th. Note the time is 1045. 
um, and they will be discussing the adventures of Sherlock Holmes. So that's November, Wednesday, November 20th at 1045. And then uh, the holidays are around the corner. So <laughs> on the 27th, as usual, every year, uh, every November, we've been doing this. We close at noon uh, on the 27th, the day before Thanksgiving. Does that mean there'll be no um, congregate the, uh, Right. There'll be there will be meals on wheels. So but no, the, okay. But there no just con- be no all right. Meals on wheels meal. only. Yeah, just meals on wheels. Yeah. Um, and I loosely say we close at noon. We'll wait until yeah. the meal program, the meals on wheels drivers come, come back, back and whatnot. Yes. Um, but there won't be any bingo, and there won't be any ukulele that day, as we'll be closing at noon, and ukulele starts at eleven thirty. And then we close on Thanksgiving, and we've always closed the day after on that Friday. Gives everybody a little break um, and gets us ready for the next round of stuff we have coming up. So, which will be Chain of Lights. Chain of Lights. Yeah, that's why Before we need a little you know extra it. time. <laughs> so <laughs> makes it easy. And then there'll be no exercise that week. Uh, that's yeah. right. The week before. That, that friendly group making money. It's such a big, tremendous help. It's really unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. It is. And I thank everybody for understanding as well. Okay. So Want to um, go on to the outreach? Yeah, to the outreach report. So these are uh, Clark's numbers for September. Uh, as you can see... Um, Veterans referrals have gone up. Shine, uh, Shine has gone up. Uh, phone calls, COA transportation has gone up. Um, and fuel assistance has gone up. Typically from now until, uh, well, now until December, you'll see a lot with uh, veterans and a lot with Shine because uh, it's time, it's enrollment period, and anybody needs to make changes and things like that. Um, and Clark's there to do that, as well as Pat Morris, who is our Shine Counselor. You can call the Senior Center and uh, sign up with him to discuss any of your health insurance needs. We haven't set a time for that for November yet um, because we're so swamped right now with uh, Shine Informational. So it's going to try and add some more, um, some more times in there for November. So, again, November is not written in stone yet, so I'm waiting for for that as well. I have a question uh, that might be helpful to people who need it. That bereavement support, is, does that require somebody who needs that support to come into the center to speak with Clark or not, does he not go necessarily. Into he will he will go over to your house if right. you, you know if you want to just talk one on one just to have a little chat. Right. Um, you don't have to who does Jose. That? Uh, Clark. Clark. Clark will go to your house. I think that's important yeah. to know. Maybe good, somebody good for you. Yes. somebody needs it, but they say, I don't want to go down yes. there, mm-hmm. walk yeah. in with other people. He'll so go and he'll wonderful. have a d- In the past wonderful. when he has done home visits for that, um, he does bring a little something like our newsletter yes. and kind of chats with them at leisure about the senior center and things going on in town to ease into, how you doing? So it's not just a like I'm here to mm-hmm. see what's going on. He's it's more mm-hmm. just getting to know the person and giving them some advice and mm-hmm. how we could help if they needed rides or right. food or lawn care because the kids are available to rake lawns now and um, all that other stuff. So I think that's important for people to know mm-hmm. that um, sometimes just in the beginning you just need a little bit. Yes. To someone to just kind of lean on and maybe cry a little bit yeah. or discuss a few things. Yes, yes. certainly. And he's quite the person oh, uh, yeah. and we're very oh. qualified oh. to handle bereavement. Yeah. Yes, so very good. good. Right. So absolutely. Right. And Clark will do home visits anytime. So anybody wants a home visit, he is. He loves that stuff. So Wonderful. just uh, just let us know. Okay. Uh, fuel assistance, they were in. Uh, to re, uh, uh, re-up people's fuel assistance. They're going to come in and do another day of where they're recruiting new clients. Um, again, that, that goes out through fuel assistance themselves. We don't have anything to do with that. If somebody needs fuel assistance, we'll direct them there, 
and then fuel assistance will make the appointment at the senior center. So once we refer them off, they work completely with, uh, with Worcester Community Action Council to make an appointment at the senior center. So once they call us, we refer that off. And eventually they end back up at the center. Um, but we can't make appointments for Community Action Council. Okay, and that's what I have for his outreach. Do we have a treasurer's report or a treasurer's what? discussion? I will something? tell you that we're doing well. <laughs> I could, <laughs> we're okay. Well, that's I could not. I could not print, for the life of me, print that report this morning. That's why I was here just a little bit before 9. Could not print that out. So all goes well that ends well. I hopefully, I'll see most of you today or tomorrow, um, and let's hope that I can get that to print out. So. I have a call into IT to figure out why I can't print. The steps I usually follow are just not happening. Mm -hmm. But anytime anybody has any questions about the budget mm -hmm. or concerns, certainly feel free to come on in. I have the book there with all the numbers and where everything goes. You can look at that anytime you'd like. So. Very yeah. good. Right. Is there any questions right now? Concerning treasurer's report, no. Um, we'll move on to the friends report. We had a very successful gas raffle. Um, it went over quite well, and we are gearing up, as Michelle said, for chain of lights. Uh, just a reminder: uh, save the day. It's Saturday, December seventh, and. Another reminder, we do start at 10 o'clock for now. We started that last year mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to 9.30, but uh, please come down and see us. Uh, we have a lot to offer. It's beautiful and it's yes. nice and we get a good crowd, so please yeah. join us. Okay. All right, is there anything else you want to discuss? Yes, Wally? I guess I just had specific to Sutton for the conservation of okay. something that occurred about a month ago. Okay. Um, I went to my college reunion and it was 60 years. Okay. It was also the 100th anniversary of the school, so this is what you call a mega reunion. Typically they're five and ten year and after you get out there for a while. So I was sitting there at brunch and it was myself and two classmates, a fellow, it was all male back then, and next to me who graduated a year before me and, and a, another fellow who was graduated two years before him. All of us are still working. Wow. You know, this age oh. range is, be <laughs> is between the early and mid 80s because these two fellows have been in the military before they went to school. That was good. For, that was two years. You know, I went right out of high school. But and I thought, I, it's not, we're not doing the same, we're not doing the same jobs we did. But we're still busy, we're still active, and we're still dealing with people, a wide range of generations, backgrounds, typically, which I just, I said, can you imagine this 40 years ago? I don't think so. No. You know, it, uh, Actually, Wally, it does fall in line to exactly what we do. If anybody's looking for employment, a, a senior who's just looking to maybe earn a little extra what I call fun cash or mm -hmm. uh, whatnot. It doesn't matter the age. There are several opportunities out there you could either see myself or Clark about. So yeah. it's about keeping you younger and active just because, from what I can tell, just because you're in your 70s, 80s, 90s doesn't mean you can't, you know, can't work and do all those things that, that I can tell. Anyhow, I see people that are like yourself still staying active and doing that stuff, so it's cool. There are a number of seniors well into this late 60s, 70s, mm -hmm. in more so, um, they choose to work. Yes. Uh, yeah. Some people have to. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. They just can't retire right. on their Social Security alone. But many choose to work, and they want to, and they're still very capable. Yeah. I like to say, don't count us out because uh -huh. we're old. <laughs> we could surprise you. Absolutely. All they need to do is take a little stroll down at the senior center <laughs> to watch the seniors <laughs> doing exercise, right. doing volunteer mm -hmm. work, um, doing more than just, nothing wrong with playing bingo, no, but the, no. you know, 
a lot of them just think you play bingo and you play cards and you sit around and chat. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Don't no. count <laughs> us out yet. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're still so new viable. Generation it surely generation. is. <laughs> and a lot of seniors do not even look like right? they're old. Not the way our parents were wonderful, but at uh, 50 or 60, they relatively look like that yeah. age. But we're still hanging yeah. in there. Words. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Yay, seniors! Okay. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is there anything else? Anything anybody wants to discuss or ask? Uh, I believe we can close the meeting now. Mm -hmm. Meeting closed.